All right, people. So I am back at you guys once again with another kick-ass video. And today, uh, I am going to be doing a behind-the-scenes look at my upcoming video game series, which I'm calling Retro Game Time. Now, what that involves is everything old school. Um, as you can see here, we got the old school TV game system. This desk is legit old school from the 90s, or early 2000s. As you can see, it's kind of beat up. And uh, it's just been sitting around in the garage. So I was like, you know what? We're going to put her to use. Same thing with that table lamp. We got the uh, posters here, which are legit from the 90s and early 2000s. As you can see the Ninja Turtles. We got some wrestling. Grand Theft Auto. More wrestling. We got a Simpsons poster here. And a Bruce Lee poster. Um, I'm not 100% com complete. As you can see, there's still, you know, white wall. I want to complete it because the walls are kind of beat up due to the fact that, you know, the people that lived here kind of messed them up. So now I got to cover them up, which is all right. We're going to go with this... Uh, old school here retro look see this is pretty much the look that I was going for on top of that um, yes I want to give you guys a heads up we are not only going to be using this old school 90s uh, video camera for this series but we're going to be using my HD Handycam as well and the reason behind that is because I ran into a few problems with this camera while I was test filming. Now the couple problems that I ran into while using this camera is one of them here as you can see I got plugins here AV plugins right we got one for um, video and one for audio there's no plugin for the second audio so unfortunately when I um, go to film with this camera um, you're only going to hear audio through one speaker. I have to stream it because the uh, VHS part of it doesn't really work anymore. Otherwise, I could have gotten full audio. So, yeah, you know, she's beat up. You know, she's over 20 years. I got it in back in 97. So, yeah, this will be a direct stream right to my computer. On top of that, when I use this camera say like at a distance on an old school TV it's too damn bright right and you really can't see what's going on because this only is going to produce like 480p quality now this HD Handycam on the other hand you could see what's going on you know so and when I film at a distance it's too bright but if I film um, like close up like I am now you'll get these damn black scan lines like you kind of see now with the old school camera that get annoying you know over time I must have done like at least two hours worth of test filming but if I film with this camera on a flat screen TV I really don't have any of those problems so a lot of times I am going to be using a flat screen TV um, with this camera I didn't really want to do it like that. I wanted to keep everything legit old school, but you it's like it's hard to get around, you know, with all the problems. Like it like I said, if it's too far back, it gets too bright, you can't see what's going on. If it's too far forward, you get these damn black scan lines. But I do have other TVs I will be switching out as well. And what I'm gonna do is um, from time to time, I'll use bigger, heavier TVs. But, you know, certain games seem to be alright, but a lot of them don't. So, it's kind of like hit and miss with the old camera. Um, but as far as this HD Handycam, I really don't have any problems. See, I can film close up, kind of, well, most of the way. And you guys can see what's going on. I can film back. And plus, you're getting full audio. So, that's why I'm going to be doing two different versions. This will be, you know, the regular edition with that camera. And with this camera here, I'll be calling it the HD editions of Retro Game Time. Oh yes, before I forget, on top of that, stay tuned. 
because once in a blue moon like I want to say like obviously at the end of the year like somewhere in December I will be doing special editions of retro game time now what that involves is I will be playing um, a couple of games back to back you know and to make things more awesome in between each gameplay I'm going to be dropping in old school video game commercials along with some other commercials that will fit that timeline perfectly so it's going to be really cool and fun I would say when I do special editions of retro game time um, but yeah this is the uh, whole look that I want I am definitely going to add some more posters um, and whatnot, but yeah, I just wanted to, you know, give you guys a heads up on what's going on. Also, I want to add that this is a true first on YouTube. Like, I don't know anybody that's using this camp, these type of cameras, and doing gameplays with them today. Like, I like, there's n nobody that I know. There's a lot of big, you know, you gaming YouTubers out there, like Rad Brad, who's huge, uh, Alpha Omega Sin. Metal Jesus Rocks, Maximilian Dude, RGT85, along with uh, many more uh, Game Chasers. But none of those guys, you know, none of them use old cameras for gameplays. Nobody is on YouTube. Like, nobody. And if there is, the numbers are so low that it's mega rare. You know, and plus with me recreating this 90s look setup, right? And when I film with that camera, it's like we're going to be taking a trip right back to the early or late 90s, early 2000s. So this is a, I'm going to call it a true first on YouTube, the way I'm doing it. Um, which is odd because <laughs> as of right now, I'm just a small YouTuber. I'm, not, I'm nothing big. Those guys are pretty big. You know, and there's others out there that are also pretty big, but, you know, nobody's using these type of cameras nowadays, except for, like, Weird Paul. You know, Weird Paul has a great channel, but he don't do gameplays. He does his own cool little thing, and he makes, you know, every time he does a video with old cameras, he makes everything look like you're right there back in the 80s, early 90s, you know, stuff like that, which is really cool. Oh, yeah. Also, I want to add that, you know, usually when you see gameplays, right, um, there's a white wall and uh, um, the game case is displayed like that. That's going to be completely out. From now on, the game case will be down like this, or it's going to be on the side like this, but no longer will it be displayed. I want this whole setup and look to be completely different you know um so there you have it man there's some some awesomeness right there we are going old school people and there's no going back true first man which is really cool and the series is coming really soon so get ready um yeah so two different versions of retro game time there is going to be, like I said, the standard edition with that VHS video camera, which I'll be, I want to say most of the time I'll be using a flat screen TV, which kind of throws it off. Um, but no worries, I'll be using, like I said, this HD camera so that, and, they'll, and the, it will be called Retro Game Time HD Editions. And I will be using the fat heavy TVs for this because most of the games, when I film at a distance, I no black scan lines as you can see right now. And this is pretty much the look that we're going for. Because I kind of wanted the distance so that you guys not only see the gameplay, but you could see the posters and the setup. You know? And I mostly, I don't think I'll be using that TV because that one's pretty small. I got other TVs. I'll be using bigger ones so that you guys can see uh, gameplay better and whatnot. But yeah, this is a totally new setup and everything. I love that I have um, the this you know old school cheats book here for the PlayStation 2, GameCube, Xbox, PS1, N64, Game Boy Advance. 
and this uh, sealed VHS blank tapes here which I never put to use that I've had for a long time I thought it would go good with the uh, setup because I wanted everything retro with this so there you have it guys uh, I think that's all I got to say about that and yeah um, that was a behind the scenes look at my upcoming video game series retro game time we'll be switching it up you know like I said we'll use that camera then this camera it will be like half and half something like that I don't know um, but it's gonna be cool we're gonna have a lot of fun I'm gonna be breaking out a lot of old school games uh, what's cool about this camera here is that since this is a direct stream and it's a plug-in because the battery don't work on it either is that I could stream for hours and hours and hours and never take a break. So I could do long gameplays with this without having to recharge the battery like I do with this Handycam that I'm using now because this thing only lasts, gives me about a good hour when I first had it. Um, back in 2014 when I picked it up I got like two hours out of it but now I only get like an hour out of it give or take maybe like an hour and five minutes something like that before I have to you know charge it up which takes like another hour hour and a half to charge so but that's the one cool thing about this I don't have to do none of that I can just turn it on boom press record and it starts streaming I can go for hours there's no stopping with that thing. But anyways, yeah, guys, I guess we'll go ahead and call it there. Uh, just wanted to, you know, give you a heads up on uh, everything that's going down with the Retro Game Time series uh, so that you know what's what. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be kick-ass, man. A totally different look, setup, and everything for you guys. And a true first on YouTube. I'm calling it fuck it i'm calling it <laughs> anyways that is it for this video guys stay tuned because i'm going to be kicking on a lot of videos here pretty soon of retro game time and uh i'm out of here have a kick-ass day